Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Lisa, Best Life Lee. Well, happy Thanksgiving 2023. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how I make my homemade cranberry sauce. Now in this video, I'm using a Pioneer Woman recipe, but I had to alter the recipe a little bit. She calls for one cup of juice. You can use apple juice, orange juice, or cranberry juice. I used apple juice. She also calls for one cup of real maple syrup, which I used, but she only calls for 12 ounces of cranberries and I used one pound of cranberries. 12 ounces definitely wasn't enough for me. So you bring the berries to a boil and then you simmer the berries for 20 minutes. Her recipe called for 10 minutes. That definitely wasn't long enough. So I did boil, uh, boil and then simmer for 20 minutes to get the proper consistency. I also used the zest of one lemon. You can use a different kind of juice. You can use orange juice and you can use white sugar and you can cook it the same exact way and it will come out just as good. So using the maple syrup was a new twist for me. So after about 20 minutes, this is the consistency you're going to get from your cranberries. And if there are any berries that haven't opened or I like to say popped, you can just push them up against the side of the pan and you will be able to just smush them and get them to the proper consistency that you are looking for. So these have been boiling, um, not boiling, but they have been simmering for 20 minutes. They're ready to come off the stove and go into the container that I will be serving them in. So here I'm just pouring them directly, taking it directly off the stove and pouring it into the container uh, that I'm gonna be using. So I this container didn't fit the entire amount, so I'll just put some aside into a different container and that will be uh, ready for the next day when I make my turkey sandwiches. But you will just let this come to room temperature and then cover it up and put it in the fridge. All right, guys, I'm gonna give it a little taste. It's really hot, so it's probably gonna taste better tomorrow. Just wanna see what it tastes like. It's got a nice consistency. Once it's cold and chilled, it's really gonna have a good gel to it, I can tell. Mmm, ooh. Mmm. This is so good. Now, I used maple syrup instead of sugar. It's sweet, it's tart, and it has a little bit of citrus taste to it. So it is scrumptious. I could like keep eating this right now, <laughs> but I won't. So anyway, guys, that's the homemade cranberry sauce. So I'm ready to go, ready to be serving my pre-Thanksgiving dinner with my dad and Lainey. This was on the Saturday before Thanksgiving. So I have my table set and I did not go all out on a tablescape, just basically some holiday Thanksgiving napkins, but my, my side table here is all set up with some fall mugs and some fall napkins and a little bit of fall decor. I have this delicious wine that I picked up when I went to the Plymouth Winery when my cousins were in from Illinois and this wine is absolutely delicious. They don't put sulfates in it and it is just wonderful. So um, we enjoyed that wine. I am all ready to go and everybody just needs to show up. I have my apple pie made. You can see that it's still steaming just out of the oven. It's gonna be absolutely delicious with some real vanilla ice cream and it just looks so gorgeous. I wish you could smell it. I had my turkey stuffed and cooked at a local 
a turkey farm that uh, made the delicious turkey. All I had to do was make the side dishes and I forgot to put my cranberry sauce on the table, but we did get it on the table and everyone loved the cranberry sauce. And so, yeah, we're just about ready to sit down and enjoy a delicious feast. So whether you've already had your Thanksgiving dinner or you're about to, I want to wish you a very happy Thanksgiving for you and your family. Thanks so much for watching, guys. So take care, everybody. I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now.